I'm back. Okay, so this is still day 10, and I'm just going to go. I'm going to, I think this is the only other one I have to do. I think at this point I'll be, of course I missed my days I missed. I can't do anything about that. But I'm going to share a happy mail, a purchase, something I made for a friend, and my swap box. Okay. First thing is a surprise. This girl is something else. She and I are have become friends and um she's a great person she has a great channel love her to pieces it's dina she sent me unexpected out of the blue i'm telling you woman she knows i love critters and she knows that well y'all do that i love to make them and she went and got me this amazing book if you've never had the pleasure of looking at Edward's Menageries or t even having one of these books, this is a book that you want to put in the shelf and never touch. When I went to show Chucky, I said, watch how you turn the pages. Because I have a pet peeve. I don't care if it's a magazine. Um, if my corners get turned down, I get like a maniac. Well, something like this is not something that I want, ever want mangled or flubbed up or... And because it came from a friend, just because she loves me, um, I will cherish this this forever. But it goes through and it gives you all the critters. And uh, I love them. Look at Seamus the Alpaca. OMG! Yeah, this book is incredible. Dina, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Oh, look at Richard, the large white pig. Look at his bell bell. Oh my God. Winston the Aardvark. Love it. Yeah, it's just a whole bunch of, um, here, I'll show you this too. Look at this. Beautiful photography and, um, capturing the work. Absolutely love it. There's a lot of beautiful Claudia the Saddleback Pig, Alice the Zebra. Oh, look at her. Imagine her done in like mint green or yellow or blue or pink, purple. Oh, Audrey the Nanny Goat. Probably the closest to a goat I'm ever going to get. I keep begging, but I'm getting nowhere. Oh, Clarence the Bat. Okay, y'all are going to think I'm nuts, but bats are cute. I don't care what you say. Bats are beautiful. I would not want one landing on me, but they are cute. If you ever look at a bat, they're absolutely adorable. But I'm the one who used to have pet rats, and I miss pet rats. I would give anything to have rats again. I love them. Don't judge me. They are amazing. They call them puppies that never grow up, and I'm telling you right now, that's exactly what they are. They're the most playful, obedient, want to please you, clean. And when I say clean, I mean clean. Mine were litter trained. They would go in their cage in a litter pan I had in the corner. And when we let them out to play when we were home, you know, when we were home, all but four of them, four of them were little stinkers. Um, and I was afraid they'd take off down in the cellar or something because there was a gap in our door. And, uh, I didn't want them to get hurt. They would have came back up. They're going to come back up for their food and where they know they're safe. But they didn't need to go down there because my ex-husband had a mean dog. That dog would have got a hold of one of my rats. They would have been done. They would have been chomped. So, um, you know, we had a litter box, a litter pan out for them when they were out playing and stuff. And they would never go anywhere but those litter boxes. And, uh. They were, like, if you held them, they loved it. They they would nutch and go on with you. But the minute you put them down, it was like, oh, my God, mommy germs, mommy germs. And they were cleaning themselves. Like, look at Gunner. <laughs> and they were cleaning themselves. It was, I mean, clean. And they were very high maintenance. You had to clean their cage at least twice a day because they were very, very clean animals. Believe it or not, rats are cleaner than cats. They are constantly bathing themselves constantly 
Anyway, they're absolutely beautiful animals. I ran to, at the time, Philly was two and a half, three hours away from me. I drove all the way to Philly to save two rats from a girl who absolutely adored them but kept breaking out from them. It turned out she had some kind of a reaction to a certain kind of fur, even like a fake fur, like she had this one cover she broke out from. And I'm talking, this girl had to go get shots. It was that bad. And she was very scared. She, We used to all belong to a rat forum. And that's how I met her. And she and I corresponded for a couple weeks before she felt that was the right fit. And I went and got Ghost and Leno. Oh my God, Ghost was my girl. She was pure white. Leno was a nice rat too. But Ghost was my buddy. She had to live by herself. She could only live with Lentil or herself because she was the fighter. She was bad. Someday I'll, I only have Polaroids. I'll dig them out. And I'll show you, my, the one rat cage I had was it, uh, was it Midwest, the company? That cage was almost $400. My rats lived in quality. And then I had one built for my first one, Coco. That was a nice cage. She, uh, oh, Coco's my girl. <gasps> they used to call me the rat lady at the bank. They actually wound up getting little bags of yogi treats because they knew when I'd come to the window at the bank, Coco could be sitting on my shoulder. And they got treats for Coco or they'd get cheese puffs or cheese curls or whatever. And Coco would reach out she'd, and she would get, yeah, I just did a rat thing. And she would get the treats. And the one lady, she used to like cringe. She wound up holding Coco. She loved her. Coco made a lot of people look at rats different. But 99% of you are probably going, ew. Just remember, I am the animal lover. I was probably, well, I'm definitely Noah's ancestor. I reckon we all are. But I'm telling you, I think I was Noah in another life. I am, it's all about animals for me. It always was, ever since I could comprehend. Anyway, that's that talk, how I got there. Um, so, with that said, this, my dear friend, Dina, was an excellent buy and a great surprise. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart once again. She also sent this beautiful, I love this, Crafter Secret Cotton. Absolutely love it. Is there a colorway? Happy day. It is a happy day. I'm going to make, um, she said about facial claws or, was there a card in this? I'm sure there was. There it is. I was going to say. Card. So party. Green's my favorite color. She sent a couple small balls of yarn for me to try with the dish cloths and face, cloth, face cloths I'm making. So, yeah. Um, and I absolutely will. I'm actually going to clean up my bathroom. I have one of those brush things. And I'm going to rearrange my bathroom sink to accommodate that. Because I got my secret sauce. Was it two videos ago? My face looks all shiny. That's that secret sauce from IT. Wow, is that stuff amazing. So I'm going to actually be getting on to a face care routine, which I've never done before, but I think it's time. I'm 48. I might want to start taking care of the old skin. And she also sent, and I'm loving the feel of this, plus I love yellow. This is Yarn Bee's Scrubology Scrub It in the color Lemon. I love it. If you could just feel this, this is amazing. It feels, I'm going to, you know, I'm always, I use sponges in like that at the sink. But I'm thinking it's too rough for my face. Definitely too rough for my face. But um, I'm definitely going to make some stuff for my kitchen. Because I got a basket and stuff out there. And I was redoing my kitchen. And I'm making dishcloths and stuff. Which I never did before. So, Dina, thank you so much. This is all going to come in handy. I'll be using it all. And I still have everything in the box. So I could show everybody. And, uh, well, I got sick. And everything got put on hold. Today's the first... I'm truly with it and with the, the land of the living. So there's that, which I absolutely am grateful and appreciative for. Thank you, my Dina. And this is on top, so I'll just show this now. 
If you're not following and don't know Shelly, Shelly uh, Sassy, Sassy Stitches and I are also good friends. And she is crazy over one certain critter. Okay? So I was in the mood and I sat here and I zipped out something for my friend. I made Shelly a socky monkey. And I'm showing it because she's already seen her. So she knows she's coming and she's getting her. I just didn't get that far. Um, I should be sending it out probably by Thursday, Friday. I'll get there. I just got to get a thing for it. And I do have a small box. I have those. Um, well, I'm going to need a bigger box because I'm going to send you some mandala. I'm not going to have you keep saying you touch mandala, squeeze it, feel it, and love it, and then go home. That's not happening. So you're getting some mandala. So you have mandala. So this is from my girl, Shelly. I absolutely think she turned out great. Even though I flubbed. The, these fronts in front of the stripe are supposed to be that cream color. This is supposed to be cream color. And this muzzle is supposed to be cream color. But I don't think she looks bad. I just didn't do her right. And look how awesome my tag is on her footsie. I love my tags. Okay, so that's Shelly Sock Monkey. And if you've ever watched Krista at the Secret Yarnery, she goes on and on and on about the complete crochet course. And I never, like, when you look at something on, online, it never looks the way it really is when you receive it. Because when I got this book, I was shocked at the size, the quality, and the amazing of this book. This is the complete crochet course as recommended by Krista at the Secret Yarnery. I could kill somebody with this book. No word of a lie. It is heavy. It is immense. And it is intense. I will say this though. I don't think the, the spine is bound well. Because it felt like it just pulled away from itself. I mean it's okay. I think I'm going to do what... Um, Wanda set about and see what it actually costs go to staples and maybe get it spiral bound because it's just easier that way to use a book than to mangle it up and I don't want to keep buying two of every book I did that before with my uh, my sewing books that I really loved I would buy two and put one to the side and never touch it and then use the other one um that got a little cray cray so I just, or I print two patterns, one I could cut up and one I could keep just to look at. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. So I'm going to see about getting these books spiral bound for sure. But I mean, look at the beauty of this book. And it is in depth. Let me just run you down the chapters here. Not the chapters, but the, the sections. Before you stitch, making stitches, beyond the basics, finishing, then they give you five projects, my first cardi, color work throw, rectangle wrap vest, signature vest, drape front cardi, and then resources, even worksheets. Let me see what the worksheet is. 314. Charts and guides, stitch chart symbol master key, material resource, and see that's another thing. <clears throat> you have it spiral bound, it'd be very easy to flip the page, lay it on your printer, and print things like that. Oh, I'll show you the patterns. This is hard to hold up. I love this, my first Cardi. Okay. Yeah, I can show this. It doesn't show anything. There's my first Cardi. See what I mean about using the book? How am I supposed to do that? And then there's color work throw. Again, I can show you everything. There's the finished. That ain't really my cup of tea, to be honest. This is going to be hard to show. Okay. 
rectangle wrap vest. That's not the best picture of it, but you get the idea. The other ones are, but then you're going to see the pattern. And then we have signature vest. That's different. And then, do you hear how my book's creaking and cracking? Ooh, Drape Front Cardi. I didn't even see this. Now that you've worked through a few beginner projects, which is the ones I showed you, it's time to strut your stuff with the Drape Front Cardi. The Drape Front Cardigan is the star of the Cardi world, and our version features the characteristic flowing front panels to create the drama while set in sleeves and perfectly proportioned shoulder seams and sleeve caps provide a structured fit. Bring all your top crochet skills to the table for this project and you'll have a favorite garment that will show off your crochet prowess time and time again. Uses a DK. Wow. I really like that. And I would make that in a heartbeat. Yeah, look at the nice stitching on that. Ooh, -hoo. love size two x, three x, four x, five x. So it goes up to five x. Ooh, look at the back, so nice. Yeah, I like it. Okay, now we go to resources, and I'll show you worksheets. Stitches and rows per inch worksheet. See now, I don't know if I, I know I did tell you this. Eventually, I'm going to start designing. Not, not to sell patterns. That's not even remotely my desire. But to have something that I created. Yeah, look at this. See, this is something you want to burn off. Um, and it's hard to do that with a book like this. So I want to see about getting a spiral bound charts and guides this book is incredible I'm not going to show you the whole thing obviously but if you're on the fence get it you'll never be sorry and it's under 20 bucks stitch chart symbols and this I definitely want to start learning because well I have the guide now I can do that um wow because there's a lot of patterns I see especially on Pinterest and all you got is the, the thingy. I mean, I saved them, thank God. Anyway, now I can do them. Now it gives you hooks and tools, and it gives you, like, clover, Stephen Willett, furls, and they give you the websites. Yarn, and it tells you Valley Yarn, Cascade, Lion Brand, Malabrigo, Annie Blatt, Buffalo Wool, and then it gives you their websites. Yarn for the swatches, step outs, and photography was provided by these. Awesome. And then you get your index. Amazing, amazing book. But I will say the quality of how it put, is put together. You use this a little bit. It's just maybe it's because I never had a book this thick like that. I don't know. It's awesome. I'm trying to see if there's something I can show you quick, like won't give away patterns. And this will even help when I start doing stitch tutorials, which I plan to do. I have a lot planned for my channel and a lot planned for my business and my personal crochet growth. You know, and that's the thing with crochet. You could take it to 10,000 levels. I mean, there's always something that you can expand upon your skills, a, a way that you could expand on your skills. Okay, this is something I don't know and I'm excited about getting to learn. Because the one pattern I bought, she's like, you know, you teach yourself foundation crochet, you'll never go back. Or you learn foundation crochet. And that's where it starts and then it takes you into... um Foundation single, half double, double, foundation made with linked first double crochet. 
don't even know that number. Foundation treble, foundation slip stitch, foundation stitches for extending rows, combination foundation stitches. I didn't even know that there was that many types of that. Okay, get this. Variations on basic stitches. Reverse single, we all know that's the crab stitch. Reverse single crochet edging, which is beautiful. I love it. It looks like a rope. But this, offset stitches. Offset half double, offset double. Stitches made using one loop, which is front loop, back loop. Single crochet through front loop, single crochet through back loop, half double through front loop, half double through back, alternating half double crochet. TFL, B, TBL, whatever the heck that is. Through the front, oh, through the front loop, back loop. Alternating single, front post double. I love front post crochet. Back post double, front post, back du post double crochet. Front post single, extended single crochet. Never heard of it. That's what I'm saying. Extended half, extended double. Linked stitches, linked half, linked double, linked foundation, linked treble, foundation linked half double crochet. I mean, this is, cr I could do a whole, um, which I'm going to, a whole series of just foundations or crochet stitches, which is absolutely in the works. Like maybe I could do like a couple stitches a week. love this book so yeah if you're on the fence the complete crochet course and of course when I when I start teaching the stitches I'll say it my reference is this if you have it follow along with the book and one thing I'd like to do is start helping people learn how to read patterns it's not that hard I want to show you something this is the book and I paid a lot of money for this book to have it get to my door I found this book by accident, and I was on the pre-order list. I actually had to wait for it. This is that, um, the dog book I have. To get to my door from Sweden, it cost me, I said to uh, Heather, no, Courtney, $45, uh, wrong. I looked at my slip. It was $58 to get to my door. Now, it's going to be hard to show you but um okay this isn't the pattern i could show you i don't know if this is a, a burner senna balu i call this a bernese mountain dog as you could see this entire pattern is in dutch well that's the that's not the pattern that's why i could show it to you it's completely Dutch. But I can read these patterns. Are there words I've had to translate? Absolutely. However, Michelle, this is why I needed that red. Uh, St. Charles Cavalier. But, um, I could tell you exactly what stitches. I just follow this. And this is another book I'd like Spiral Bound. I paid a lot of money for this book to keep making it go like this. And it's a beautiful book. I wish I could afford it. I would definitely buy two of these. Just so I could have one for beautiful. Heck, I'd frame it. Like, the pictures in it, but then I'd have to destroy it. So I wouldn't really do that. No, I wouldn't frame it. That's a fib. Alright, so let me show you the pups. There's a page. I'll show you my favorite, too. You're going to be surprised what my favorite is. Here we go. Okay. So we got the Pug Chihuahua, the Sheppy, and the one I just showed you. And I'll tell you what. I searched the internet, and I never found dogs this nice. We got the Frenchie, the Beagle, the Schnauzer, and the Husky. <laughs> And I'll tell you right now, the schnauzer is my favorite. And I don't even like schnauzers. 
I just love the, and I'll show you the big one. And then we got the Rock, the Lab, the Jack Russell, and the King Charles. They also have leashes and collars, bones, tennis balls, and those dummy things that you throw in the water for the retrievers. Let me see, I'll find it. It's with the labs, which I think is in the front. But I want to show you the schnauzer itself. Nope, there's the dummy. See the dummy? And there's a schnauzer. I'm telling you, I, I'm not a schnauzer fan. Look at that pup. I cannot wait to make that puppy. And eventually I'm going to make them all. And of course they will be added to my line of stuff. I did talk to the designer. She had no problem with me selling. Which I made sure before I even bought. Because if I'm going to spend this much on a book. For the patterns, you're doggone right. I'm going to sell. But the book is worth every penny. Anyway, what I was saying was. What started all this. Look at the, the lab and the, the one she made. Isn't that to die for? It looks like it could be its puppy. Um, when you can read a pattern. You can read Dutch when you're not even familiar with Dutch. And know exactly what you're doing. Which is what I done. So I'd like to do helping with reading a pattern and things like that. So I'm going to do my own series of stuff. Definitely. Definitely. All right. I see this video is 27 minutes, so I'm going to cut it off and I'm going to upload and then I'll do my swap box with Carla, my partner. Um, so for now, I want to say thank you all so very much for being here. And um, this time I'll do it right. If you're just new here, please click the hit the subscribe here click the notification bell so you'll get notified each and every time I upload and um, give me a thumbs up and please comment and also if you would like to share me with your social social media and friends and family I would greatly appreciate it and thank you again so much to all my subscribers new subscribers welcome and I'll be bringing some amazing content. I have so many plans for things. It's just my head spins. So yeah, I'm just so excited and proud and grateful to be part of this community. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you all. And I'll be right back with another video. Till then.